Well, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer the photos from your Motorola phone to your PC or laptop. So you're going to have to plug your device in with your charging cable to your computer. So you can see I have it plugged in just right here. And you'll hear it uh, have a beep or something like that through the speakers. Now on your phone, you're going to want to go to where it says file transfer when this pops up. And you might have to swipe down from the top, but just make sure you have file transfer enabled instead of uh, charging only. So you can see uh, file transfer is turned on and is not set to uh, uh, charging only. So just swipe down from the top. And once we have this connected and we give it permission, uh, we can go on over to our computer now and we want to figure out how we can transfer it over now. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. We can do it through File Explorer. If we go to right click and go to File Explorer and open this up, we should be able to see our uh, phone show up under this PC. So here's my Motorola Stylus 5G. You can see the internal storage I maxed out at 110 gigabytes. And then here's my SD card. So maybe I want to go into here and then go to DCIM. That's probably where we have everything. And then we can just uh, go to camera. And then we can find our pictures under here. So we might only want to like transfer over like one or two pictures at a time. Or you can just transfer and copy over this entire folder. Just drag it wherever you want. Now another way that we can do this is if we go to photos, we can just type in photos under here, photos. You know, open up uh, the photos application. And uh, we can just go to the top right now and go to import. Go to our phone. And it's going to import all the photos into here. And this way usually takes a little bit longer. That's why I don't like going to this. But once it imports everything, we can just go to select all right here on the top. And then we can import it to our specific folder that we want. So you can go to File Explorer or go to the Photos app. This way you have to generate all the photos, which takes a while. So if you're looking for one or two pictures, go to File Explorer down here and then go to DCIM under your internal storage. It'll be a lot quicker finding that one photo as opposed to going through all your photos under here. So that's what I recommend to do. So here's my SD card right here. I can go to the DCIM folder camera here's that one picture i wanted I'm not sure what it is probably it looks like a canva ocean picture okay and then we can go back and here's all my other pictures i transferred over so yeah just look at this hopefully this video did indeed help you out if did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below